Philadelphia is the poorest big city in, in the United States. Um, what you may not know is that it is actually our youth that make up the largest percentage of that poverty. If you're a high schooler in Philadelphia, right, you have lunch, you have breakfast, you have food taken care of at school, you get a trans pass, so you get bus and scepter transportation. And then once you get a high school diploma, and if you're part of the 70% of Philadelphians who graduate our high schools and are not prepared in math, science, or English, and you're told, go be a nurse, go be a chef, go be what you want to be, and you're spending federal financial aid on developmental classes that you should have learned in high school with less support now than you had in high school, arguably, right? And more freedom and less overall money. That's a recipe for disasters. So we have a system right now in college that's making poor students poorer. And as a result, we're sending students into the workforce with debt and no degree, and they're not prepared. So we've asked, well, what's the alternative and what should we really do? And we realize that most students, they look at hospitality as the industry that they kind of unwittingly go into um, as their pathway to a better life. We have to understand that a lot of our youth come from situations where they've either tried college, they've tried some sort of pathway, um, they're gonna have debt and they, they're likely still gonna be poor. So how do we meet them where they are? And, and that means really asking employers to see students for who they are as human beings, not just as a number or as I'm hiring a token minority kid, right? So that means one, you know, if you have a, if you have a restaurant in Center City or in Fishtown, right, um, your new dishwasher may not live anywhere near where you are. Right, uh, and you know they may not live somewhere where they have a trolley bus, the Market Frankfurt line, the L, and you know, and and the Broad Street line. So that's number one. Right. Two is that you know one thing that we've done in our program is we've actually funded students for the first month um, and and a half, if not more, for trans passes, for food stipends, uh, because it's not like you get a job and then all of a sudden, right, you you get a sense of you know, hey, I, I'm suddenly good to go. And I would say the, 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 the last thing really is giving students a chance, right? And, but really setting the expectation that I'm not just gonna hire you and leave you there and hope that you do well. It's about supporting you. It's about supporting students.